I'm gonna show you five of the best crossover moves that every player should have in their arsenal. What's up guys, Jesse Minchu with GetHandles.com. First move is the Iverson cross, the Jut cross. There's a lot of different names for it. At the end of the day, what it amounts to is whichever hand has the basketball, you're gonna step out with that same side foot. And you can set this up a lot of different ways. Iverson would typically do it more stationary and a little bit more upright, and then drop down into that step. Jamal Crawford does it from a little bit of a hop and he'll kind of step into it that way. Kyrie does it a lot of different ways. One of the ways I see him do a lot though is he'll be kind of get some momentum going one way first before going into it. The key points at, at the actual crossover are gonna remain about the same. Sell a little bit of a ball fake, sway your hips and your chest to lean over this leg a little bit and look in that direction. Besides that, the only other main key to pay attention to is that you get low. And from there, you're just gonna wanna snap the dribble, whichever foot then from there, that step to sell that fake, that same foot you're gonna wanna move forward next. But you're gonna focus on pushing off the back leg. Cross over. Push off this back leg, and this leg once again is gonna move. And this way now I have protection over the basketball in case my defender tries to close back out on me. Second move, the snatch back. If there's ever been a move in the NBA or just in general that sends defenders flying and breaks ankles, the snatch back is probably the one that does it the most. The key behind it is basically just to get some momentum going, like you're trying to go past your defender. So if I'm going with the left hand, I'm gonna attack hard in that direction. Whichever hand is has the basketball, that same side foot's just gonna stop. You don't really need to sell that last second fake. In certain instances, you might want to, but then from there, what's gonna make it really different is the angle. You're gonna cross over more back or just to stop on a dime. And that's pretty much it. The key though to making this work is that once you start to get a little bit past them, that's when you're gonna wanna stop because they're gonna be like, oh man, I gotta recover to get in front of this guy. And they're gonna take off line and try to jump back in front of you. There's two different ways you can do the crossover. You can either go just like a regular crossover, keeping it tight. That's a key point, keep it tight to your body. So not out here and pull it back and then kind of step back in with the foot that stopped last. Or you can do the same thing going between the legs from the back. I prefer that method because if the defender's here with me, I have the ball back here where they can't get to it. And that's pretty much it. You're just gonna do that crossover, pull it back. From there, you can shuffle back or take a step back, or you can just stop on a dime. This next crossover is the sharp cross. It's one that you should be able to pick up really easily. You wanna really work on perfecting it, and I'm gonna give you some keys in here to make sure you get it down a little bit better so you can you know, get past your defender easier, break more ankles, all that cool stuff. You wanna get some good momentum going on this one, and this one's a great one for like more when you're running on the move, but you can also use it more at a half speed, but you wanna have some momentum going in one direction. You're not gonna really sell a fake moving this way to change directions. You're basically already moving in that direction. So that kind of is your fake. Your movement is your fake. The second you feel, again, the same foot as the hand that has the basketball touch the ground, you're just gonna push the ball over immediately, real quick. So there's not that extra extension or lean or any of that. You're just gonna be running this way and catch them unexpected. Really work on focusing on that timing. The second you feel this foot touch the ground, boom, push that ball over quick and change directions. Push off that foot quick to change directions. Speed is key on this one though. This next one is one of my favorites for when you're close to the defender and don't have as much movement going into it. You can do it with a little bit of movement, but it's, it's a good one to throw a defender's timing off and do when you're close, and it's the double rhythm cross. Basically, all it's gonna be is more of like a regular crossover, so about hip height, crossing over, but then boom, you're gonna kill it down low with the second hand. Instead of catching it and then bringing it all the way up here, that's why it's called the double rhythm cross. It's two crossovers, two different rhythms. Back and forth, high, catch them with that next one low to throw their timing off. And it's a good one to use in situations where like there's a lot of defenders around, you wanna kill it down low to keep it away from where defenders can steal it. This one is one of my personal favorites that I use a lot. It's called the stiff leg. And I'm gonna show you two ways of doing it. There's kind of more of a street ball type of way of doing it. And then there's a little bit more fundamental way of doing it. It's becoming fairly more common to do it the second way I'm gonna show you. So basically what's gonna be is whichever hand has the ball, the opposite foot for this one is gonna step. And you're gonna step across the body in the, in the direction of the hand that has the basketball. So if the left hand has the basketball, right foot's gonna step in that direction. You wanna get low for this one and you can play around with the, the length of the step. I really like taking a long step with mine because I find that I can really get defenders flying on it, on it that way. But sometimes I'll mix it up with a shorter step to get it off quicker. It's gonna look like your first step to the basket. Normally you wanna step with the opposite foot to take your first step to the basket because then you have protection over the basketball once again from my defender. If he's here and I step here, I have protection. So it's gonna look just like your first step. Good chance you're gonna get them to bite on that hard. From there, you're just gonna cross over. Now the street ball version will be to cross over here, right in front of the leg, and you wanna do it down low. That has a little bit more chance of getting stolen though because it's here in front of the defender and it looks a little more unorthodox. You never know, you might get called for a carry or something. Fundamental way of doing it, is to go between the legs. And that'll give you a little more protection. Again, my defender's here, my leg's protecting the basketball now. If you wanna to try to send your defender flying more, take more of a longer step, or if you're gonna take a shorter step, just make sure it's real quick. 
You can do it more from a standstill and then pull it out quick. You can do it more from a running start, just kind of almost like as a way of stopping. Both those ways are, are good for creating space for shots. If you want to try to get a shot off from it, focus on stepping back quick with that foot, whichever version you're doing. Make sure you step back with that foot quick. That'll get you squared back up. If you take a shorter step, it's gonna typically be easier to do that. You can also use it though and change the angle slightly and come back forward. That's a tough angle change to make though. Shorter step's gonna be a little bit easier to make a direction change to go back the other way. So you'd fake left and then go right. Make sure you click that like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you wanna see from the channel. And make sure you click that subscribe button and get on that notification squad. Now, if you want a way to take your crossover to an insane new level in just five minutes, make sure you click this link right here. That's a $3 workout that's gonna help you do exactly that. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this one and check out this playlist. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Break some ankles today.